Hello everyone. Today I'm going to start uh, training you on the specific topics. Uh, so my plan is to uh, come up with videos on how to's and uh, some, uh, some uh, tutorials on how to uh, do a specific task. So in order to teach you, uh, I want to just uh, have a video that is shorter in duration rather than hours. I would do it between one minute to 10 minutes maximum for a specific question. So I'm going to ask one specific question and a specific answer. In this video, I'm going to uh, say, what is PS1, which is stand for prompt shell one. In Linux and Unix, you're using prompt shell one and prompt shell two, PS1 and PS2, which are prompts uh, for you. And I'm going to explain prompt shell one in this video. So let's get started. And um, I'll just uh, basically go to the next uh, page, and which is uh, my web university, my YouTube channel. You're welcome to join. And so you can watch these kind of videos. And then once you join, obviously you will uh, be um, on my website and watching the video on uh, YouTube channel. Uh, so uh, let's get uh, back to the Linux server. As you can see here, uh, it is um, on a screensaver. I'm going to type in my password for the user Wahidullah, as you can see there. And I'm now logged on to uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9. As you can see from the background image, it says Red Hat and also Red Hat Enterprise 9. So I click on activity and I open a terminal. By clicking terminal, this terminal shows up, but because I'm, I'm making a video, I'm pressing Control Shift Plus to make it a little bit wider. And then I move it on the side here and I can resize it a little bit. So I'm going to make it one uh, smaller by pressing Control Minus. And then now you can see the Red Hat Enterprise, all that information. As you can see here, the prompt shell one currently is showing the username is Wahid and the host name is localhost and Telda is my current working directory. So how do I know that one? If I do echo dollar sign PS1 from shell one, the value of that one is that uh, as shown below. Slash U meaning the user. So the user is ID dash, uh, ID dash UN, it shows that it's Wahid. That's why you get Wahid. There's an add symbol and then slash H. Slash H means it's a host name. So if I do a host name here, it shows local host on local domain. But if I don't want to see the fully qualified domain name, I can say cut minus D uh, dot minus F1. And then that would uh, give me the local host, which is inside the prompt shell one, it is doing that. Uh, so at this time it is um, that. And then and what is slash W? Slash W is the working directory, the current working directory. So what is my current working directory is home um, Wahid. And if I go CD to Telda, which is right here, it shows that Telda, this Telda, um, Telda or Telda is uh, just a, a one that is actually my current working directory. So echo dollar sign home is also pointing to that one. And also um, if I do, um, PWD, as you can see, that one is showing the dollar sign home, get PMV, password Wahid, also shows that my home directory is uh, home Wahid. So we know this information, but uh, if I want to just clear my screen here and say, yeah, echo dollar sign uh, PS1, and currently it is uh, set to that one, can we customize it to just say in a state of local host? to say something that I want to do as um, a string that is like my tutor, uh, web uh, tutorial, my webuniversity.com, something, whatever um, that string uh, that you want to represent. And the username is good uh, because it uh, logs in. So if I just log in here as root, uh, say sudo su dash switch user do, and then switch user dash root, it's going to prompt me now, uh, my prompt shell one, notice it changed to root at localhost. And id dash un now is root. Get end password 
dollar sign um not the, uh, i could do dollar sign here or like say id dash un i could do the same thing or i could just say and the word root or i could just say uh back tick and then id dash un those are all giving you the same value so uh, what am i showing you the one that i'm showing you here echo dollar sign from shell one Again, it is uh, slash u at a host slash w and then uh, the slash dollar sign. And notice that the pound is an uh, indicator uh, that I'm root. So if I just type in id dash un, it's, um, I'm root. id dash group name, uh, group name is also root. And then id with everything, I get all the information. So it doesn't matter whether you log in as a regular user or root you will get the prompt shell one and respond there. So another way is like if I just go as root, like switch user dash, and then say root here, and then type in the password. If I have the root password, then it will change my prompt. Again, the same thing. I change my prompt shell one and echo dollar sign PS1 is um, that. So let's just change now um, the prompt shell one uh, to something else. In order to do that one, you have to be either uh, sudo access privileges or root privilege. In this case, since I'm already root, I'm going to do it as root. There's a couple of files that uh, is normally it is there. So clear screen, uh, echo dollar sign PS1 is that, and then echo dollar sign uh, PWD is uh, showing me and that I'm more root. Home is a root, and then echo dollar sign. Home is also root. And then at the same time, if I just do um, CD to tell that, it will drop me to the root, which is the same place that is uh, showing my home directory. So um, that is um, for uh, the root account. Now we want to change this echo um, dollar sign PS1 to something else. So there's many ways you can do it at the command line. I could just say, for example, export uh, PS1 as equal, whatever I want to just assign it. I could just assign it to only show a dollar sign in a space here. And then that will change it. But I don't want to do that one because it's misleading. I'm not uh, saying that I'm uh, nobody. I have to type in id dash n to know that I'm log on as root. And I have to type in PWD to find out my friend working directly. So if I go to um, tutorial, tutorial, then I have to do a PWD again. If I do go to how to, then I have to do a PWD in order to do that one. So instead of changing a, a prompt on the command prompt, uh, another way you have to do it at the right file. So since I'm uh, there, I'm gonna CD here clear screen and then uh, say, okay, so I, I am root id dash un and um, I changed the prompt, but I could have changed, uh, kept it. But let me just show you how you change it uh, permanently in a file. So there's a couple of files. One is called ATC profile that is uh, system wide and another one is ATC bash or C. For prompt shell one, the bash or C is there. There's also a, a root uh, like dot bash or C or uh, the user, whatever is the owner of the user, there's a dot bash or C for it, uh, for that directory. You can uh, just do aliases and other ones. But for prompt shell one, you have to modify this file called etc bash or C, like I said, showed you there. So initially, um, if uh, we just log into the system, let me just exit out of this one and I just open a terminal, because of that bash or C, initially I get this prompt. As you can see on this one, let me just make it bigger. So on this one, initially you get this prompt and then it will just say uh, prompt shell one is pointing to that one. At this time, I'm gonna become root first. So do su dash and then type in my password. So now I'm uh, there, I want to just vim, vi improve etc um, bash or c file that I showed you, and that it is there. 
So then if you go on the top of this script, um, this is a system-wide uh, configuration. It has a lot of other variables. What I want to show you is that PS1. So I do it search by slash PS1, and it shows that the PS1 prompt is uh, set. And then uh, based on the setting here, I can just um, show you the line that it need, you need to modify here. And let me just put line number here, set, um, set a new for a line number. As you can see on line 43, uh, on this line, and the prompt shell one is currently uh, pointing to the uh, parameters or the values that we were just getting onto the output. But if I want to comment that line out, and I say, I want to just uh, enable this line that I uh, did it earlier, I want to just change the prompt shell one from prompt, uh, prompt shell one to uh, point to uh, the user at host name. And then instead of the host name, I want to type in my web user tutorial.com and then um, the current working directory and everything else is the same. So notice that uh, syntax, this brackets or closing with the bracket once and slash u and then add and then this string is optional and instead of slash h, I'm using uh, slash, um, I mean the string. If, if you wanna just do a display slash l or so on. All these options are there. So you just do this one, saved it. And now if I just wanna run it uh, to just make it effective, I can do etc bash or c and that uh, did not take, take effect. So I'm gonna just exit out of here, exit out of here and just open up another terminal. Notice as soon as I open my terminal, even my current working and uh, user, it is modified there. And then I'm going to do Control Shift Plus. And let's do um, echo and dollar sign PS1. And as you can see, it is um, set to slash U for user. And then the host name is, even though host name variable is uh, just uh, still the all those, what is pointing on the ETC uh, host file. And then what is uh, on the option there? But I'm just getting get because I want to force it to this string and when I log in. So clearing the screen, and if I just uh, do that one, any command I do, and let's say I go to tutorial directory, you can see my uh, tell the current working directory change to tutor, tutorial. Similarly, if I go to how to's and then I go to that one, when I do a PWD, it is showing that I'm on the how to. If I do cd dot dot, it's going to be on tutorial, and I do that to, uh, to this. If I do a dot dot now on the root, it's going to show that. If I just uh, do cd uh, to my home directory, it goes there. cd to um, uh, root, it is going to take me to root. cd to tell that also taking me to home directory there. So now we say clear screen id, id dash un, you can see that for Wahid, it just already did the environment correctly there. But now let's do a sudo um, su dash and become root. See what happened with root. From shell one should also have with root, which it does. Root is the user. Um, the host name is my web uh, tutorial.com. Tell that is my current working directory, which I'm on root. If I go back to tutorial, notice a tutorial. And it changes to a tutorial. You need to unlock your iPhone first. Sorry, somehow the series just uh, started. So tutorial, and then if I just go uh, to how to's, and you can see that it is um, set. So uh, with this video, I just showed you what is prompt shell one and what are the value for it. And as you can see here, it is very easy to modify it. You just have to modify the file, um, the file etc uh, bash rc, which is bash is uh, born again shell, or c for run control. So when you do that one, if I do a grip minus i for, or just the uppercase ps1, uh, ps1 no minus i, we just wanna, 
force it to only show um, uppercase. Bash or C, you can see those ones. And if I want to see the line numbers also, to see the grip minus N, that would show the line number as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you go to my web university and uh, join our channel and um, subscribe to our channel. And you can see I have my webuniversity.com website that I have a lot of videos and uh, a lot of uh, trainings and um, online books that you can watch. There's a lot of uh, chapters on them and then each chapter is like a book so you can learn. And then there's uh, my web university uh, tutorial for all, all kind of videos, uh, Linux, Unix, Windows, um, Python programming, C, C++. You're welcome to join and uh, subscribe and uh, make some comments so I can improve it. And uh, please uh, tell me the next video that you want me to make short video for you to help you uh, as a student or as an employee somewhere. God bless you all. Take care. Bye-bye.